All right, weekend warriors. This weekend, we're going to have to rebend some 3,500 pound axles the other way. This thing's been so overgrossed that the, the natural bend of the axles, I shouldn't say natural, but the one that was put in it from the factory is actually going the other way. So we're going to bend these with some rudimentary tools that we should have in almost every garage, a logging chain and a bottle jack. Like I said, it doesn't have to be 12 ton. I bet you can get away with 5 ton if I had to guess. But to concentrate that much power and bending metal, it's just amazing. I mean, when you talk 12 ton, most people are like, I don't need, I can't even carry that in my truck. My truck doesn't even weigh that much. So here we are, have some trailer axles on. Uh, I believe that's two inch. Yep, it's two inch uh, piping is what they make this out of. So we'll see what we can do with it with just some basic tools. And then we'll put some I-beam underneath it and show you how effective that is. So these first couple of pictures, I want you to notice a couple of things. You see the silver on that hydraulic ram. It's really taken up a lot of slack, and they, it didn't even bend in the metal yet. So this next picture we're going to show you, man, we're going to crank on that jack, and that's a full extended ram on that, and it really didn't do anything. So this next photo, when we pull that chain down, you notice that, that blue line that we're using to see just how straight that thing is, it's actually touching. So notice where the cleats are, and then also notice that we got a huge gap still on the other ends. So we put this thing on an I-beam just to show you the difference what you can do with that chain. And so also notice this, just how much silver is showing on this thing when it's jacked up and the chains are taut. Now the blue line still on this, it still shows that there's no bend. We're going to get an accurate measurement on this from the I-beam to the top. First time we jacked it up, got about uh, an inch and five-eighths. There it is in full motion. It kind of looks ugly, right? Oh man, I hope it didn't bend it too far. Watch this. We'll back that jack off and show you that we barely got an, a half inch bend on that. So next time we go for two inches, not that much difference, and see what we get. There it is full. Man, that really looks bad. So we pull that thing down. Notice that we got about 23, 30 seconds of an inch change, and we're happy with that. So we'll swap these axles out. Look at how a one-man job does this. You don't have to have two men to do this. Just use your jack stands, put your bottle jack in, put your chains on both sides, get your tape measure in place, start taking photos. Because we're bending metal, and not everybody can do that. But you can. So here we go. We know two inches worked on the last one. We're going to bend this one two inches. We're going to let it down, and sure enough, it bends to the same exact measurement. So there it is in full view. We're going to pull this thing down, flip it over. Notice the cleats are on the bottom this time. And that's where we want our bend is to go up because these are hanging on the inside or the tops of the springs. There's the final measurement. Looks like about 5 eighths of an inch. And we're happy with that. We're going to, we're going to press on. A couple things I want you to notice. It's not hard to bend this stuff. Words of advice are take your time. You don't even have to take as much bite as I did. You know, I uh, I guess I could have done it in quarter inch increments, but I'm happy with what I see. I know that metal bends, and I know it'll come or spring back into place, and I'm fine with that. So, big thing is, is don't get crazy with it, and you'll be satisfied with the outcome. Hope this helps you. Two ways to bend axles, and keep on doing that that mad stuff in your garage because then people will talk about it you go to work and everybody will ask you hey what'd you do this weekend either i made stuff with fire and metal or this week i bent metal with a 12 ton bottle jack 